Today I'm going to be talking about our center point. This tool is designed to do all of your knockouts in three easy steps. Center point layout tool, laying out all your knockouts, three easy steps. Step one, mark your strut line. Um, in this case we've got deep strut, we're going to go ahead and mark it across the top of the can. All right. Step two, turn the tool over, mark the conduit combination, cross over the center line. Okay. Say we have a first conduit's a four inch, second conduit's a four inch, third conduit we're going from a four inch to a two inch, right? And then we're going from that two inch down to a half inch. Okay. Step three, go back down here, turn the tool over, align those intersecting lines in the window. Then you'll notice the half through four inch holes again. Go ahead and mark your first four inch. There's the first center. There's your second four inch center to drill. Come down here to our two inch. There's our two inch center to drill. And there's our half inch center to drill. Okay. Now if you want to be really, really precise, you can come back down here again and align your uh, center point tool along the edge here. This is going to give you the four points of your knockout tool, okay, for your, for your gear punch knockouts to line perfect on those four points. Then it won't matter what size hole you drill, um, you can always align those four points with your cup and cutter. Center point layout tool. first thing that you're going to do is determine what size strut you're installing above or below your panel. Okay, after you've determined what size strut you're mounting over the top of your panel or underneath, you're going to go ahead and mark your strut line. That's step number one, okay? Uh, inch and five-eighths all the way down to five-eighths inch. Um, you'll notice that these are in quarter-inch increments. Uh, this will uh, take into account the quarter-inch panel standoff that's on the back of the that's on the back of the can, okay? So if we were installing inch and five eighths, we're gonna go ahead and back it up one quarter inch, and we're gonna go ahead and mark our strut line across the top of our can. The line that we just made with the center point is the uh, unistrut line. So that would basically be the same thing as if we took a piece of unistrut, laid it across the top of our panel, and because we backed up one quarter inch on this, that's going to set your unistrut one quarter inch hanging over the back of your can right here to allow for that quarter inch panel standoff that we talked about before. So it would be basically be the same thing as dropping this down, setting it right in there, measuring a quarter inch back here, and then marking your line. Okay. So we've done that now. Now we have our unistrut line. That was step one. After we we're done with that, the center point is equipped with a uh, ruler on the side of it. So basically the next thing that we're going to do is determine how far from the edge our first conduit is. And let's just say that it is six inches. We're going to lay this thing up here and then we know that this is six. So we're going to go ahead and mark that six inch right there. Okay. What that's going to allow us to do is that's going to be the center point of the back of our first conduit, which happens to be a four inch. So we'll go ahead and set that thing on there just like that you can see that that's going to be the center point of our first knockout, okay? Then the next thing that we're going to do, which is step two on the tool, there's two spacings on the tool, okay? There's um, tight spacing right here, which is seven eighths, and that's going to give us seven eighths inches between our conduits. That's just, just enough room to get our Thomas and Betts uh, bond bushings on, or this side spacing right here, which is going to give us an inch and an eighth between our conduits, okay? A lot of people will use that because they use their unistrut. It's enough um, room between the conduits to use a unistrut strap to get in between your conduits. So we're going to go ahead now and lay out conduit spacing across the top of the can. Now that we've laid out the six inches to the center of the back of our conduit, like I was talking about, this has the two spacings. Uh, tight spacing and inch and eight spacing. In this application, we're going to want inch and eight spacing. As I said before, this is going to lay out the center of the back of every one of your conduits, no matter what size to what size. Okay, so let's say our first conduit is a four inch. We're going to move on down here. 
to our second conduit that will also be a 4 inch 4 inch to 4 inch okay then we're going to move down here and we're going from a 4 inch conduit all the way down to maybe one more 4 inch okay and then moving down a little further we're going from the 4 inch to a 2 inch conduit now okay like I said doesn't matter what whatever size you're doing to the next one so 2 inch here down to another 2 inch all right and then from that last 2 inch say we're going to have a couple of uh, 3 quarter inch pipes 3 quarter and then we're going from a 3 quarter crossing over the center to your next 3 quarter all right so that's step two is just laying out the center of the back of every one of your conduits that's going to align on that strut line. So that's step two on the center point. Now that we've laid out all of the um, conduits adjacent to each other, the next thing is we're going to do is mark the center point to drill each one of those uh, knockouts. Um, so you take this uh, center point tool, step three, position the uh, intersecting lines in the window okay because like I said this is always going to be the back of your conduit or where that um, unistrut is at the top of your panel okay so this is always going to be the back so step one or step three here go ahead and mark the your center of your first four inch move to your next four inch is right there and then move to your third four inch aligning in the window again there's your four inch then we're moving down here this one is our two inch okay and then this one is our two inch and then this one is our three quarter and then we have our three quarter okay now we just laid out all the centers of all these holes okay in in no time all right and that's going to give us the center point of which we can drill all right, where the back of our conduit is going to land up perfect on the strut. But if you're using the um, our uh, gear punch, the, the great thing that you can do with this is this tool here will give you the four points when you're using your center point and your gear punch in alignment with each other. Then we have these two inches right here. Okay, go ahead and mark it to the line right there. Line it up. Line this one up. And then, of course, you wouldn't need them on your three inch. There's the center point of every one of your knockouts. Okay. Now, these four points right here will line up perfectly with the gear punch knockouts. Okay, one of the other great features that's on the center point tool here is a panel schedule. We put this on here for our apprentices or anybody that we're trying to teach uh, what the corresponding branch circuit numbers are um, to what phase they're uh, pulling out. So high voltage or low voltage we have the A, B, and C with the corresponding branch circuit tree right underneath it. So if an apprentice is pulling in a circuit 1, 3, and 5 he knows he only needs one neutral right if he's pulling in two two out of this column he knows that he needs two neutrals um, very uh, cool thing they can carry this around in their back pocket run around when they're uh, pulling wire or pulling pulling home run circuits whatever the case may be